In this video we talk about Kevin Cruz and his 15 secrets to time management, a subject that can change your whole perception on the value of each second in the day, and what you could be capable of. I recently listened to the Cut the Crap podcast, which featured Kevin Cruz, who is an entrepreneur, speaker and best selling author with the book We, How to Increase Performance and Profits Through Full Engagement. The podcast had a hugely profound impact on me, where I gained insight on how the most successful think about time and why they are able to achieve all that they have in their lives. So in this video, I want to go through the second 7 tips from the 15, with the first part out already. If you haven't seen it, I will be linking it in the description down below. Time is the single most valuable resource we have in life, and Kevin Cruz deconstructs the possibilities of how we're using time to make the most effective use of it. We previously looked at some great ideas, such as keeping a notebook, keeping a calendar as opposed to a to-do list, and controlling your inbox to prevent it from distracting you. While all of the resources, like money, can be recovered in life, once time passes, it's gone forever, and there's no way to recover that period of your life. So knowing the importance of time, how do the most successful make the best use of the 24 hours or the 1440 minutes we have each day? Number 1. Say No The most highly successful people know what their values and goals are with absolute clarity, and so naturally have a tendency to focus on those goals when working. In order to do this, they learn to say no to almost everything that can be perceived as distracting or taking time away from achieving that goal. For most of us, we want to be liked and we want to feel valued, and so naturally veer towards saying yes when asked to do something. However, Kevin Cruz shifts perspective on this idea in ways which many of us would never think about. He says that as you say yes to doing something, you are in turn saying no to doing something else instead, which can have an impact on your day, your schedule, your productivity and your results. If you have valid and genuine reasoning to saying no, then you need to learn to say no to make the best use of the time you have in your day. Number 2. Use the Pareto Principle the Pareto Principle is also commonly known as the 80-20 rule, whereby 80% of the results you get come from 20% of tasks. Often, by focusing on that 20% of tasks, you can garner the most effective results. This isn't necessarily to say to ignore the 80% of tasks left over, but rather make judgement calls on how necessary it is to fulfil those tasks. In some cases, despite the lesser gain it may be necessary to complete the task where the details make the difference. In most cases, the tasks are unnecessary and it's beneficial to move on to the next 20% of tasks that get 80% of the results. Do this by listing out the tasks and identifying the most important 20% of them. This may take time to do to identify which get the results, but doing so can be invaluable in the long term. Number 3. Focus on Strengths and Passion it's often vital to focus on our strengths and unique skills that can help us get the greatest results, and where possible to delegate other tasks to others, ones we either have less interest in or aren't necessarily the most skilled in. Even the Pareto Principle plays a role in this, as even if you delegate a task to someone who does it at 80% of the standards you might, the net gain you get in time often makes it a worthwhile investment regardless. And this is the key. The point is to try and make the most effective use of time, and sometimes to do that there may be a level of compromise needed. Number 4. Assign time to recurring themes Learning to batch tasks and controlling how you use time most effectively can be highly beneficial in achieving the greatest results. However, it's not just about batching tasks, but rather assigning days in the week for specific tasks. Strategic coach Dan Sullivan talks about assigning days to be focus days, buffer days and free days, each of which are designed to achieve specific goals on a given day. Focus days are those days to do the most important tasks, usually with the very specific targets and goals in mind and the days that get the most valuable results. Buffer days, or admin days as I like to call them, are days to focus on additional tasks, such as replying to emails or doing other less urgent but important tasks. 
free days are rest days, time you spend doing other things to either recuperate or dedicate towards other important aspects of your life, such as spending days with your family. For most of us, this traditionally comes on the weekends after spending the weekdays working. Number 5. Touch Once Principle If you can do a task in less than 5 minutes, then do it immediately. While initially this might seem a distraction, it actually serves to save time in the long term. This is because what we'll often do is let these little tasks build up, after which it'll take longer to go through them all in one go than it would have if they were just done immediately. In addition, as these tasks are left, they take up energy mentally as we are constantly trying to remind ourselves to do them. Instead, use the one touch principle, doing the task that takes less than 5 minutes immediately and then batching longer tasks to be completed later at a scheduled time. Kevin Cruz does this when sorting mail, as he'll go to collect his mail and when returning back into his house, he'll have already gone through the mail to throw away the rubbish and keep what's important. Those which need further time and actions, such as bills, are then scheduled for a set time, Friday afternoon in his case, and forgotten about until then. I find I naturally do the same, as I return home from work, I immediately go through my mail, with all of the letters of little to no importance immediately thrown into the trash, and other items assigned to certain times in the week for further work. In today's world, with direct debits and other automated processes, I actually find that the number of letters I need to dedicate time towards is actually minimal. Number 6. Use your morning Surprisingly, for many successful people, the first hour of the day is the most important and it's not the time spent doing tasks, scheduling work or doing work at all. Instead, the time is about starting the day right, setting your state to be at your peak during the day, and set yourself up to be successful. Personally, I follow the Tony Robbins morning routine, whether it be his 15 minutes of fulfillment, 30 minutes to thrive, or hour of power, I found his routine is empowering, motivating, and gets me ready for a phenomenal day ahead. Whether you follow this specific routine or have your own, the key is to make sure whatever the routine, it needs to set your state to make the most of the time you have in the day. Number 7. Productivity is about energy and focus Days who are all hustle and don't take breaks might actually be hampering their productivity as a result. What you don't want is to find you are a constant in how you work, you need to use your energy in focused bursts, with breaks in between to help you recuperate and work more effectively in the next round of work. Think of it like a high intensity interval training workout, or HIT whereby the idea is you work out at high intensity for a set time, before taking a short rest before the next round. This helps you gain greater benefits from the workout in a shorter space of time, rather than working out at a constant for a set period of time. The same applies to the brain and how you can achieve the greatest results, it's not about working 24-7, it's about working in a way that gets the greatest results. One method to do this is to apply the Pomodoro technique, whereby you work in 25 minute intervals and after each interval you take a short few minutes break. When you do 4 Pomodoro, you grant yourself a longer break to recuperate. Kevin Cruz has found billionaires manage time in ways which are strategic and most effective, not necessarily just working hard at a constant as is often pushed by many people today. To get results, you need to work hard, but more important is to work smart, utilising the 1440 minutes you have in the day to the maximum. Use these tips, if not all, then at least some, to use your day like the most successful. Which of these tips do you already apply, or intend to apply in your life? Let me know in the comments section below. Check out the other part of this video as we see the first 8 tips from the 15 from Kevin Cruz to help you utilise your time like the most successful people in the world. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know with a like, consider sharing this with friends and subscribe as we aim to help people live life on their terms by providing practical advice through inspirational content. Thanks for watching.